Hello, it's been a minute. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a video. As you can see, I'm in a nice fancy little outfit and there's a reason for it. This summer, the summer just gone, so June, July, August, I started playing cricket. For those of you that don't know, those of you that aren't from a cricket playing nation, cricket, if I was to compare it to like an American style sport, it would be like a bit like baseball a little bit like softball. All the cricketers out there are hating me for saying that. But it's got a bat, it's got a ball, and you hit the ball with the bat. So there are some similarities. So yeah, the reason I wanted to do this video is because it's something I didn't think I'd be able to play again. I used to play when I was a kid, um, and then I just played football all the time. Then I got my bad injury from playing football, and then got the fused ankle. So, I've got a friend who plays cricket and uh, someone that I work with and he was like, nah, come along, come along, you'll be all right. There's some old boys that play. It doesn't matter that you can't move that much. Just pick up the bat and give it a go. So I was a little bit worried at first. I was a little bit nervous, I'll be honest, going along to the first game and the guy was asking me, the captain, he was like, oh, so what do you do? Uh, what, do you, are you a batsman? Are you a bowler? I was like, to be honest, mate, I haven't played in a long time. But I told him I, told him I could bat a bit. I told him I might be able to bowl. Anyway, I went out there and I ended up playing pretty well. I scored quite a lot of runs with a bat. Uh, bold, all right, not great. But obviously, I wanted to explain to you how it works with my ankle. So when I went into bowl, I just bowled just a slow jog up, up to, the, to the wicket, up to the crease, uh, and I was able to bowl. If you don't know what bowling is, you have to Google it, you know, YouTube it for uh, bowling and cricket. And then when I was batting, so what I did was, because I thought I couldn't run at all really with my ankle, this is, this is my kind of limiting beliefs that I, did, I used to have. So I went into bat, and then you've got to protect your wickets in cricket. So I blocked anything that was on my wicket, and then anything wide, I just smashed and tried to hit a four or a six. In cricket, if you smash the ball when it goes past the fielders and past the boundary or the rope, then you score four runs if it's along the floor and six runs if it's in the air. So in my mind, I was like, yeah, great. I'm just going to do that so I don't have to run uh, to get the runs. Um, so yeah, so that worked out pretty well in my first game. So how did my ankle impact me? So when I was fielding, uh, they put me in quite close to the batsman uh, so I didn't have to run around too much. So if the ball's hit towards you, you get the ball and you throw it in uh, to the wicketkeeper or the, the person who's behind the stumps. So I didn't have to do that much running around in the field when I was, let's say, when I was fielding. In future weeks and in future games, I started to realise that I could kind of adapt my running style and I just kind of moved a little bit more at my hips. Um, and yeah, it was like a more movement at the hip flexors and then the hips when I, when I ran. I couldn't really sprint, but I could, I could kind of get into a jog. And I was worried that my ankle would just be in loads of pain because of the repetitive nature. But it turns out in cricket, when you, you run a bit and then you get a rest, you run a bit, then you get a rest. And it's actually fine that I can't like fully sprint like I used to be able to, but I can run um, and I can get by. So I'll be honest, after my first game of cricket, uh, when I played, I batted for quite a long time. I was out in the field for a long time. I helped umpire the game. So it's a really long game. Cricket goes on for hours. So I was on my feet for a long time. The next day, because I'd been doing running and stuff that I hadn't done in so many years, I felt like I'd been hit by a bus. All my hip flexors, my tendons, my joints, everything was sore, my muscles were aching. Um, but it's fine, I recovered and it, and it was okay. I didn't have any actual injuries. So yeah, I guess my biggest worry when I was gonna go play cricket was that the pain would be too much from running around and the constant uh, impact on the joint. But what I found is, weirdly, the running is not the thing that's caused me pain. And even being on my feet for long periods of time, um, I actually feel my ankle, uh, I feel pain, like a dull sort of pain, not the acute pain like before the fusion, but I get more of a dull pain when I've been walking for a long day, for example, like 15,000, 20,000 steps in a day. Uh, that gives me more pain than after a game of cricket. It's kind of changed my uh, limiting beliefs, I guess, um, and it's been amazing, a really positive experience. It's been really nice to be part of like a team, uh, team sport again, because I grew up in all the team sports, but then after my fused ankle, I thought, I can go gym and keep fit, but I'll never be able to play team sports again. Uh, so it's been, a, it's been amazing. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put in a few videos and photos uh, just to show you what, a little bit of what cricket looks like, and you get to see me with my team.
So yeah, this is my snazzy outfit. Uh, they call it whites. If you if you know cricket, you know what that is. If you don't know cricket, you, you wear all white. It's in the summer, so I've got my hat. Um, and yeah, repping Alexandra Park Cricket Club, North London. Uh, and yeah, there is life after fusion. And even now, I'm five years after my fusion, I'm starting to be able to try new things and kind of get rid of these limiting beliefs. Also, massive shout out to a guy called Errol who plays at the, at the same cricket club. He's got a fused ankle as well. I actually played in a game with him and he's had his ankle fused for, I think, 12 years. And he's a little bit older than me and he was amazing. Diving around in the field, doesn't let it affect him. He runs with a little bit of a limp, but I do as well because you just, you can't get the plantar flexion off the ankle when you run. So it, it looks a bit odd. Um, but yeah, he was amazing. He, he basically won as the game that I played and I was just totally inspired. I will say this, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and there are still some days where the ankle is like, there was a bit of a dull pain towards the end of the day when I've been walking for, for long periods of time. Um, and actually recently I've been getting a little bit of pain in the toes, uh, the, the, my small toe and the toe next to it on my fused ankle. I don't know if that's because of the fusion um, I presume it might be. I did have this sort of pain a couple of years ago, but it just kind of went away. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to see how it goes. If it persists, then I might go see a doctor, but I think I can just kind of live with it at the moment and then and see where we go. So the overall message of the video is quite a positive one. I just wanted to update people with what I have been able to do, what I've been able to achieve, um, you know, push myself out of my comfort zone, start playing cricket again, start being involved in team sport. Uh, I'm not as agile as I once was um, and I can't run as fast as I was able to but I've been able to contribute uh, within, the, within the games um, Yeah, and it's been a really positive experience so it's something I will continue to do each season and just yeah, try and get good at cricket. I think that's it for the video. If you've got any questions, fire them and I will try to get back to you. Um, I do have another video pending and there is potential that I'm going to be skiing at Christmas. I'm hoping to get some custom made ski boots and uh, yeah it's looking positive so far and I will keep you updated and if I do manage to ski I'll get a few videos and then I'll upload and, and I'll keep you guys updated. Anyway thanks for support and any questions just fire them below.